It's time for kitchen table electronics repair once again. And today what I have is a JVC SVHS VCR, a model number HRS3911U. And in this particular installment of kitchen table electronics repair, I'm not going to talk about repairing this machine as much as I am going to talk about how to diagnose electronic problems. And one of the most important things that you can do when you're diagnosing electronic problems or problems with electronic equipment is to verify what does and doesn't work with a given device. Because chances are the person who's asked you to repair something hasn't told you everything that is or isn't working about the device. You know, maybe they forgot the tape counter that stopped working years ago. Maybe they didn't realize that when the switch on the RF modulator got flipped from channel 3 to 4, it really wasn't that serious of a problem. So when you have something on your kitchen table, or if you're more fortunate than I am, or at least more professionally inclined, your repair bench, you need to go over it and verify what does and does not work, especially if you're just getting started with something like this. Now I encourage anybody to take an interest in electronics repair because a lot of people can do it once you understand the basic functions of a given device. Anyway, this VCR was reported, the key keeper just ran through here, this VCR was reported by its owner that it didn't play, that he could hear audio, but that the video wasn't there. So what I have here is a videotape that I'm going to go ahead and put in the machine, test it out, and see what happens. This is, of course, in an effort to verify the nature of the complaint. So we'll see what happens here. This transport's getting ready to load the tape. Screen goes blank. Video calibration. And let's see here. This season, we at Paramount Pictures... Well, that sounds good to me. For a basic test, this thing just passed, at least on the playback side. Now, to really be certain, I'd want to let it run through this entire film start to finish, but obviously I can't do that on YouTube. So right now I'm going to run another quick test. Now, for this test, you'll need another VCR. And if there's one thing I love, it's older VCRs. Now, a lot of people don't realize that a 10, 15, or even 20-year-old VCR is much better than a brand new machine because it's better made. In fact, if you drop an old VCR on a new one, you might flatten it. This thing is so light, it can be picked up with one hand and carried so easily because most of its transport is highly integrated and made of plastic. So if anything does go wrong, the odds of being able to repair it at home really aren't that great. Whereas with an older machine like this Zenith over here, which is one of the most unique VCRs I've ever seen in that it loads the cassette sideways, an old VCR typically has discrete, easily identified parts, and as long as you're respectful of the timing and positioning of items inside there, you can cure a lot of the ills that ail an old VCR. So what I'm going to do now, in a setup that will be familiar to a lot of you who no doubt dubbed movies back in the day, I'm going to take a blank cassette here, and I have the two linked up, uh, both via RF and component, uh, RCA composite actually, inputs. Now, right now I'm just using the built-in RF modulators on each one, which uh, isn't the high quality way to go, but it'll confirm that this thing can, in fact, record off the air, or off the equivalent of the air, which is important here because the, the owner of this VCR does a lot of taping off of TV. So stick the blank cassette in here, and then I'll put the pre-recorded cassette in here and start the recording process up. So let's see what happens. I'll go ahead and hit record here, and it goes into recording mode. I'll start this one playing. And let's just see what happens here. I hope you spend a little time with the family. Yes, my father and I. Yep, this is the introduction. This is the movie preview reel on a tape of Charlotte's Web that was sold at McDonald's many years ago as a Christmas promotional. So anyway, with a couple of seconds of video recorded, go ahead and stop the JVC machine here, rewind the tape, and see if this machine is indeed capable of recording from its built-in tuner. 
All right, so I've got the tape rewound now, and I'm ready to hit the play button. Let's see if this thing is indeed capable of playing back something that was recorded from its over-the-air tuner. He has my father's eye. Gomez, take those out of his mouth. And for the new year, we'd now like to present... Well, it seems like it works to me. I'll have to go ahead and do a test on the composite and S-video inputs. But in the meantime, it doesn't seem like there's anything that seriously wrong with this thing. So when I take it back to its owner, an inspection of the cabling and such that was running into it is definitely going to be in order. Now granted, this video really didn't show you how to fix anything, but one of the most important things with fixing anything is to know exactly what's wrong with it. So when you go and you look something over, it's important to give it a careful inspection. You know, make a physical inspection of it. You know, does anything look distressed? Is there a particular smell about the item? Is there something strange that, you know, you just can't put your finger on, but it doesn't seem right? Basically, is there anything about this item that you're getting ready to fix that makes you seem uneasy or doesn't seem right to you? Likewise, check the positions of all the operating controls. You never know when someone might have done something silly. Inspect everything for foreign objects. That's a good idea, especially with VCRs, which are certainly not immune to children or even adults losing things inside there when they shouldn't. Basically, give a device a good once-over and make sure that everything is as it should be. Because a lot of manufacturers of devices, and I don't always agree with this wholeheartedly because I'd like to think that humanity as a whole is in better shape than this, but a lot of manufacturers of devices say that for returned items, many of them have absolutely no problems. It's something to think about. And thank you for watching. If you have a comment, feel free to leave one below.